Want healthier, stronger, shinier hair? Tired of products that don't work for coily or kinky hair? Meet 12 Tribes, the vegan hair care line designed for you. Our products are made with love for your gorgeous coils. We offer hair growth butters, oils, shampoos, and hairsprays. These products help your hair grow long, thick, and shiny. Imagine a hair care line that's 100% vegan and perfect for coily hair. No more guessing if it's really going to work for you. Our butters are rich and nourishing, feeding every strand. Our oils are lightweight but powerful, sealing in moisture without greasy residue. Shampoos and butters leave your hair clean and soft, never stripped. What sets us apart? Our dedication to your hair's needs. No harsh chemicals, just effective, natural ingredients. And the results speak for themselves. Start your journey to healthier, shinier hair today. Visit our Etsy shop, Lisa Crafts. Click the link in the description below. Give your hair the care it deserves. Join our satisfied customers and see the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, they had another crash today on Wall Street. So the Dow, it sunk more than a thousand points and it triggered a worldwide sell off. And you know, this is also part of the outage that's been going on that has not been resolved. And it's taking its toll because there's a lot of people out here that can't trade at all. Their apps are not working. It doesn't matter if it's on their phone or on their computer. Unraveling trade fuel global market route. So these are pretty big declines that are impacting markets worldwide. So the unwinding of Wall Street's most popular trades intensified Monday morning, sending Japanese stocks to their worst day since 1987 market crash. And walloping the U.S. technology shares. Oh, yeah, the shares are really plummeting, especially for CrowdStrike and Microsoft. They are taking a hit, and it's because of the global outage that has yet to be resolved. So the tech-heavy NASDAQ led the way, falling 3.4%. Every industry segment in the S&P 500 declined, pushing the broad index 3% lower. All 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average ended lower. And the blue chip index shed 1,034 points. The Russell Index, or this is the Russell 2000 Index Small Stocks, they lost 3.3%. Oil, precious metal, and Bitcoins also fell. So they are in fear <laughs> right now because, you know, they said that, you know, things were going okay. And then when this technology failure happened around the globe, it has not been the same since. And the fact that it's been weeks now and there's no sign of them fixing this thing, that makes it even worse. So the uh, Japan Nikkei 225 tumbled 12% amid surging yen. It was the worst single day percentage drop for the Nikkei since October 20th, 1987. That was the Tuesday after Black Monday in the U.S. when the Dow ne uh, nearly fell 23%. So, of course, that sparked a major sell-off. And... You know, they are saying that it was a disappoint, disappointing economic data in the U.S. stoked the sell-off. So, 
for years, traders around the world bought riskier assets such as U.S. stocks and funded trades with the yen thanks to the ultra-low interest rates in Japan. Until recently, many hedge funds and money managers expect rates to remain low and the yen weak. So, boy, I never thought I would see the day that there would be some type of technical thing that's causing the market to crash. And it's not something that they can control. That I think that's the most intriguing thing about this that's going on with the market. It's not like these investors can get a hold of it and fix it. They can't. They are literally at the mercy of CrowdStrike, Microsoft, the ones that are responsible for fixing this. They're at their mercy. So before the market could crash and they could just push the market back up, well, being that this thing is to the point where people literally cannot trade or have access to their account, they're in a position where they can't control this, y'all. They can't control what's going on at all. Mm -mm. And I think this is killing them. They have been looking at these crazy sell-offs in stocks now for weeks. And they have a fear that this is going to filter over into the U.S. economy, but I don't see how it could not happen at this point. So Monday services reading suggests that a swath of U.S. economy that employs the most people might not, you know, be in such good shape. So while investors wait, they are dumping the technology stocks that propelled the market to new heights this year. Each of the so-called magnificent seven technology stocks declined at least 2.5%. Oh, so y'all don't want anything to do with technology? Look, even the AI stock lost 6.4%. So now, you know, at one point in time, they were running to technology stocks. Now they can't wait to get rid of it. They can't wait to get rid of it now. So y'all, Apple shares, which had withstood the technology sell-off better than rivals over the past month, fell 4.8% on Monday. So, you know, when you trade stocks, they tell you up front, there's going to be risk. You are taking a risk. And there's a lot of people out here around the globe taking that risk, y'all. But please tell me what you think about this video. And, you know, I did uh, the market crash that happened last week, and it's still crashing as of Monday. It will be an interesting week, y'all. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.